Final Mouse Cape Town review in 2024. The Final Mouse Cape Town was released in July 28th, 2019. It's kind of crazy to see that it's almost turning 5 years old this summer. I bought mine used on eBay for around $70 and in this video, I will review it at its 5 year mark and to compare it to other mice of today's age. So when I launched in 2019, it was the lightest mouse on the market. Final Mouse tends to have a goal of making their mice the lightest for that current year, no matter the corners they cut. On the Cape Town, they kind of did cut some corners. First, they had a honeycomb design. I personally am not bothered by this, I know some people are, and to me it doesn't really make a difference. If they could drop the weight by a few grants using this, I really wouldn't mind. However, the one sort of drawback is that this mouse is small. Unlike the different sizes uh, Final Mouse offers for the Starlight X, its most recent model, the Cape Town only comes in at one size, and it's 53mm wide, 160mm tall, and 36mm high. Just to compare, this is how small it is next to my Viper V2 Pro. Now does this hinder my ability to aim? Well, yes and no. It depends on your aim technique. If you play palm or mix palm and claw, you're not going to enjoy this mouse. If you play fingertip, this mouse is great. Due to a small size, you're kind of forced to play using the fingertip grip anyways. Any other grip just wouldn't work unless you have small hands. That said, learning to aim with my fingers and using my arm to primarily control the mouse, this is one of the best mice even today for using fingertip grip. If you want a small and light mouse for it, which I prefer, it's a 10 out of 10. The left and right mouse buttons feel snappy and satisfyingly clicky. A lot better than my Death Adder and in my opinion an improvement over the Viper V2 Pro. Now buttons are up to personal preference but I prefer clickier ones and these are definitely some of the best. However, I would prefer if the side buttons stick out more or were just more satisfying or clickier. It just feels a little cheap. Maybe they were just trying to make it as slight as possible and this had to be sacrificed. The scroll wheel is okay, not the worst, not the best. Some people like clunky scroll wheels and some people like smoother ones. This is on the smoother side. I prefer mine kind of clunky um, and you can kind of feel each step that the scroll wheel kind of rolls on, which is um, kind of like what happens with my Viper V2 Pro. But I really don't have no complaints, it's just a scroll wheel and it doesn't really make your aim any better. To me, the left and right mouse buttons are the most important ones because I mainly just click on those and they don't disappoint. I bought mine with a custom cable, um, but to be honest, the cable doesn't really make a difference if you have a mouse bungee. I have my glorious one for like $10 and it's been serving me pretty good, and I can barely feel my cable at all. Now let's compare this mouse to other mice in 2024. The Ultralight X Cheetah, which is the newest version of this mouse, but um, in this small size, which is really similar to this one, it's only 31 grams. And it's a no-brainer that the new and improved version is better, but is it worth the $130 increase in price? That is up to you. Newer mice like the Viper V3 Pro offer an amazing shape, no honeycomb design, and comes in at only 54 grams, which is really impressive for a wireless mouse of that size. This is about $70 more than the Cape Town, and I feel like it's pretty worth the price of $160. On eBay, if you're looking for a mouse that's lightweight and cheap, the Cape Town is definitely the best mice that you can get under $80. However, I do think the added 70 of the Viper V3 Pro is still worth it. Use prices for the Viper V2 Pro, which is 58 grams, are around the same. In my opinion, I prefer my mice to be as light as possible, and I have been using fingertip for a while. But if you are a claw grip user or you can't deal with a mouse cable, a used Viper V2 Pro could also be a good option and I think it's under $100 on eBay right now. So you can definitely get a good deal out of that as well. Thanks for watching and have a good day.